advice. This is Courtney, and I'm here to talk to you about episode whatever of DC's Universe Titans. This one is titled Asylum. Okay. I can't even mind. All right. This episode was good. Uh, I don't know about some people might have triggers off of it or whatever, but it's good. It kind of delves into uh, uh, Robin, and you just see, like, this motherfucking, um, this monster that he's trying his best to keep inside him and all that stuff, trying to see if he got, you know, a total rain on it. But it's something that he gonna have to address himself, work on, and all that stuff. Or it's basically gonna fuck him over, or whatever. But you'll see a little bit more about it. We'll discuss it later on. Alright. So the episode starts off with, you know, the the uh, head man of the nuclear family. He is tied up in the, bath, in the um, bathroom of what we gonna dub now as Titan's Tower. As of right now. And so... Go to the uh, living area of the joint. And, you know, it's everybody there. You know, Robin, Starfire, Beastie, and motherfucking uh, Raven. They all sitting around. Raven wants to talk to the dude. Be- uh, uh, Dick like, mm-mm. Nah, that ain't gonna work. Like, I don't trust him. And she like, she wants to know. She wants to know. Give me... Tell me, y'all, I need to know why this motherfucker is trying his, is falling everywhere to come get me. And, you know, Starfire, like, what's the, what's gonna hurt? It ain't gonna hurt none. He already tied the hell up. And so, you know, Dick, Dick said, all right, five minutes. So, she goes in there with him. He's sitting there, and he's looking at her, the, uh, headman of the nuclear family. Like if somebody sees something outstanding or, or, or otherworldly. That's the kind of look of, look on his face he has when he first seen her. Laid eyes on her. And so she's like, why you, why you, uh, got these people after me and all that stuff. And he basically tells her that, you know, you're special. You say you're not evil. Um, you, you, uh, what else is it? It's all along the lines that you don't even know the power that you have or, or what you truly meant for. And so he says, he pulls out this, I don't know, what that a stopper? Or a thermostat or some fucking shit. Pulls it out and he says, I'm going to show you how special you are or whatever. He said, render my f- uh, flesh anew like that. And he breaks the glass part and the inside like this right or whatever and slits his motherfucking throat. And so I was like, okay. So she goes, drops down, and, you know, she's trying to stop the bleeding and all this stuff. It kind of funny now she heals them and all that. And so during that time, he basically said, brings up about her mom. No, he don't. Not, not, no. Uh-uh. When after that scene happened, when um, Dick and uh, Starfire goes to question his ass, he brings up the mother. So, Dick basically does something to his arm. I don't know, he's breaking that arm, fucking it up, and it has him basically disclose about, you know, her mother and all that stuff, the mother, the name, um, Angela Azin. You know, okay. You know when uh, the Teen Titan cartoon and we know when Ra- uh, Raven get ready to do her spell, Acura, Sarava, Zintos, or whatever, her mother's name is part of that spell she be uh, casting. Uh, you know, using when she ever do her do her with Juju or whatever. And so, there it goes. And like, they know that it's this asylum, whatever, and basically where her mom is at. Where Raven's mom is at. So, they go... And, you know, power or whatever. And, like, they tell a rape about, listen, your mom's still alive at the uh, asylum. Yada, yada. And all that. Raven, like, all right, let me go get my purse. Let me go get my book set. Let, let get it. Like that. She ready to go now. Raven, like, mm, mm. Hold your horses. 
No, nah, we can't do. We gotta when we do this, we gonna motherfuck it. We gotta plot. We gotta plan. We gotta yada yada and all that stuff. And you know, like I don't trust it. It's a trap and all that. So right when she gets upset, she asks the star five. You know, should we? You know, she's trying to find somebody to rally behind her. Uh, let's go get. Let's go get my mom. And uh, some uh, stuff I like. Listen, as much as I hate to agree with Dick, we gonna might we gonna have to wait. Let's plan. Let's plot. Let 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 you know, think ahead or whatever. And so, she has Beast Boy, and Beast Boy he looking, and Beast Boy uh agrees with the rest of them. And so, Raven feels some kind of way, and so she storms out to her room. So uh. Beast Boy come to her room, knock on the door, and he come in. And basically what he says, he told her, like, listen, I lied and all that stuff, just to save face, whatever. But listen, if you want to go, let's go get your mom, like that. And, I'm, and, you know, they were like, well, how are we going to go get her? And I don't know who found he stole. I really don't know who found he stole. Because he pulls it up, and next scene, the next scene, them niggas in an Uber. And so... Raven's like, you know, it's a uh, well, federal offense or whatever if you uh, using somebody else's uh, Uber account, yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. And so I'm like, y'all so crazy, crazy ass kids. Y'all go to get an Uber. Go ahead, whatever. And so they get there. And um, they get there and, uh, you know, Homeboy, uh, Beast Boy is having second thought. He kind of, you know, Beast Boy, he's a kid and all that stuff like that. And he, you know, he get like, you sure you want to do this shit? And, you know, Raven, like, you know, she all gun ho for the shit. But it seemed like she kind of like, mm, yeah, yeah, you know, she get a little, a little wary of the shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, just about when they was getting ready to motherfucker, I guess, attempt to break in, they get tasered knocked out gone so dick and uh starfire they up in the uh control room right i call it with all the screens and all that stuff and they done brought up the schematics of the blueprints and everything of that motherfucking asylum basically seeing where they could go and all that stuff yee 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 and shit like that and so dick goes to raven's room to i guess to tell her that they gonna, you know, motherfucking go over, you know, what the fuck ever. And he goes to look, ain't no see her. Man, you, that whole fucking tower is mainly glass. You know what I'm saying? So, he cussing him and, um, him and, uh, uh, Starfire, they end up, they drive to the asylum. Starfire driving him this time. And so, they get out the car, and stuff are like, how much you want to bet that our, our, our two geniuses haven't got caught yet? Like, whatever. And so, tell me why, Starfire and, and uh, Dick, them motherfuckers, they parents. Listen, they they been married for 50, 50 some odd years, and they got two kids that just popped up out of no fucking where, or whatever. You know it is what it is. And so... They go in the uh, asylum, right, and get, and, you know, they, like, downstairs, like, I guess in the basement part with all the gas pipes, water pipes, and all that shit is it. And so, they get uh, get cornered. There's some guards on one end of the, um, no, this is what happened. They see Beast Boy in a chair. That nigga knocked out. There's some other guards at the other end is with that uh uh that woman doctor and all that shit like that. She at the other end. And next thing you know, they see motherfucker uh and some guards got a gun to uh Beast Boy head or whatever. And so Starfire, she get ready to light it up, shit, right? Till Dick tells her, uh uh-uh. uh. Look, look around you. Number gas lines. He said, We ain't gonna do this, we're gonna blow the whole motherfucking shit up. And so they get snatched. All right. Raven is in a room, like in a regular ass room. 
They got my nigga Beast Boy in the cage, but booty ass naked. I don't appreciate that fucking shit. They got him hemmed up in the cage, arms up, and they tasing him. They tasing him like a fucking animal. And they doing that just to see to see what all he could be and shit like that. You know, trying to bring out the beast in him and everything. Fuck y'all for doing that fucking shit, bitch. Do my baby boy God like that. That's my baby. I love him. They got Starfire underground, I guess deeper underground, whatever. And it's these solar panels, the heat panels or whatever surrounding her. And Starfire is trying to blast out that motherfucker, but she can't. Them panels is sucking all her motherfucking energy. And so the people are looking on camera, they're going to wait till, you know, she basically tapped out. Ain't got no more motherfucking power. They got Dick hemmed up in that brainwashing chair like they had the last father from the nuclear family and everything. So I can already tell they're getting ready to motherfucking fuck his ass up. And so, who we gonna start with? Okay, Starfire. After they, uh, after Starfire is tapped out of all her motherfucking shit, uh, they put some gas in there, knock her out. Next thing you know, that bitch is on the table. And she got this, uh, uh, pipe, well, you know, uh, holes or whatever down her down her uh mouth throat and all that motherfucking shit she hemmed up tied up and everything and they finna start doing some motherfucking experiments on they get this laser thing and they cut across her fucking stomach she is a lot she's alive now but the thing about that she is woke they did not put her under no anesthesia so she is sensing all of that pain my nigga and she can't scream or nothing like that, cause you know they got that thing in her mouth. I'm not like y'all. Y'all would do this to the black one. I said, I said, what y'all doing? Y'all, y'all got the both. Y'all to heal the black bitch up, and y'all motherfucker cutting her open without anesthesia. You got my boy guy, and he Asian, and he Asian, he Asian. You got the Asian one. He motherfucker hemmed up in the cage like a goddamn animal. I said, I see what y'all doing. I said, y'all don't, y'all ain't shit. But, and you know, after they get through cutting her, she heals back. So they find out that more about it, she could heal. So what them niggas asked her, they said, well, let's see what else she could do. And y'all, I said, y'all bitch nigga bastards. And so, uh, Barris, not Barris, what do I think about Barris? I'm thinking about Flash, but anyway, uh, Dick, he in the chair. They got him hemmed up, all this stuff like that. What they finna do, they finna dope his ass up and basically try to mentally break him. So, uh, the uh, doctor's in there talking. You know, she talking through the uh, intercom and all that stuff. And, um, you know, if you just calm down, don't resist, it'd be easier for you, yah, yah, this and yah, yah, that. So they go and dope his ass up. And so he's in his own mind. And basically, through him going through his own motherfucking mind, he is balancing his younger self. And his younger self basically beats his ass. Just be honest. And his younger self saying, you know, putting the blame on Dick, he's the reason why he is like he is. You're the reason why I got all this anger. You're the reason why this, 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 this. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Bringing up all them doubts and um, fears and um, eternalized motherfucking hatred that he probably has on his own self and shit like that, right? And then basically, he is fighting his own fear or whatnot so going through that and then like he having a uh i wouldn't call it a dream within a dream because he also fucking doped up and high with hallucination uh, between another hallucination what i call that because 
it shows him next that he is in a motherfucker and he's back in a padded room but he has his uh outfit his fucking robin robin gear on and so he in there and the motherfucking uh 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 orderlies come in and he beats them dope them up and all this stuff runs out try to look around and he oh yeah and that motherfucker that motherfucker that's when he sees his younger self and that's when that shit you know his younger self basically beat his motherfucking ass okay so we're gonna get the raven raven wakes up and she's uh, looking around, and she's in the room, and there goes the head nuclear n- nuclear motherfucker. And he's talking smack, he's talking trash and all that. And basically, you know, he sees all the rest of them, the rest of the Titans as assets that he could use for their organization and stuff like that. And so she's trying to learn more about, you know, her mom and uh, uh, what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They never say the dad's name. When they gonna say Trigon? Because she the daughter of Trigon. Yeah, she the daughter of Trigon. When they gonna bring up Trigon? So, when um, he shows scenes uh, out of each of them, and says, if you don't cooperate with me, whatever, you know, your friends, they all gonna die, or whatever. And so, you know how she is, and um, she's trying to find more about her mother, and she gets mad. He says something, I don't forget what he said, but she says, I take it back like that. And I'm like, what you take back, bitch? And next thing you know, that motherfucking uh, wound across his neck that she healed, it undid itself. Kid his ass right then, motherfucker, though. And so, she goes to her motherfucking laptop and types out her mama's name. I guess it has a directory of all the people that got up in there. Finds the room and all that fucking shit. Finds the key and motherfucking haul ass to go find her mom. And so, she goes and finds her mom. And her mom is sitting in the bed, back towards the door, and she's talking to herself. I don't know if she's saying prayers or whatever, whatever, whatever. And Rachel is like, Mom, it's me, yada yada. So, and the woman don't believe her. Apparently, they've been pulling stunts like this on her for a minute. Cause when she looks at the girl, you lying, go somewhere, go take your ass some motherfucker where. And so, when Rachel takes off her jacket and all that stuff, and she shows her the back of the shoulder, it's a raven tattoo on the back, not tattoo, a raven birthmark on on her shoulder blade. And she goes, and the woman looks, and she's like, "Oh my god." It is you, and that's her fucking mom, and all the stuff they hug and all that stuff. And the mom said, "You shouldn't be here. You're gonna be in danger." Yeah, yeah, da. And now she said, "No, we come, we leave, we finna go now. We gotta find my friends and all that stuff like that." And the first person, yeah, the first person they go snatch is motherfucking um Beast Boy. Now Beast Boy, he's fucked up in the cage and all that shit, and so. They bust up in there, Raven goes, and, you know, unhooks him and finds his clothes, give it to him. Another motherfucker shows up, right, and he got this, uh, I'm trying to see, is that the, yeah, I got a Tizer, the Tizer that he was using on motherfucking Beast Boy, and he, like, looks at Rachel and says, you going back to your room or some fucking shit or whatever. And Beast Boy snaps. Beast Boy turns into the tiger and kills that motherfucker. Brings him up into his cage. And tear that motherfucker up. She kills it. He kills his ass. And when he comes back to where he was. Y'all have to look on his face, y'all. He can't believe he did that. He in shock. He's terrified. I don't know what else was going through him, but the look of fucking defeat on him. You know what I'm saying? And like I was like, oh my God. If I could just reach through the, my screen and just hug him, I'm like, baby, it's all right. You had to do it. You had to fucking do it. 
don't feel bad about it, my nigga. You had to fucking do it. And so he gets it cleaned up and they go and they go fine. Um uh dick. And so they bust up in there in the room with Dick at Dick in the chair. Y'all. Dick had that that look on his face. I like Lord, they done they done brain fried in him. That motherfucker gooped gone. And so Rachel She's talking to him, trying to talk to him, you know, trying to get through his head and shit like that. And she was like, Dick, wake up, wake up. She said, don't leave me. You promised me you wasn't going to leave me like that. And it looked like she was about to start to cry. And then my sister, the ass, I was about to cry. And they're like, no, I can't cry. You know, thugs don't cry. You can't shed no thug tears. I was like, but I was about to cry. I was like, oh my God, y'all can't do this to me. And so... She breaks through to him. And let me make sure. I'm going to make sure. Watch. Hold up. I'm trying to think what else she said to him. And, um. He comes to. He's able to get out his fugue state or whatever. But he's so fucking dopey, though. You know, he needs help getting up out the chair and all that fucking shit. And so, they go, and the last person they got to go find is Starfire. So, they find Starfire. Okay, Starfire, she's still on the motherfucker operating table and all that shit. After they don't find, after the doctors don't find that, uh, the, you know, they can motherfucker, she heals from her cuts and all that stuff. They said, we're going to check something else. Take out the pinky finger. I'm like, what, bitch? They go get her hand. And she's trying to ball her hand up and all this stuff. And they spread her finger out. And I'm like, Lord, if it cut her goddamn pinky finger off. And when they do that, the uh, uh, the team rush in, yeah? The team rush in. Dick start beating ass. You know he get ready to snap. He's snapping. And so, God has to take the uh, thing out out of her mouth or whatever. And, you know, he wanted to say it's going to hurt. And the look on Dick's face when God's taking that, uh, that uh, motherfucking tube out of, her, out of her throat, he got this look of just anger and pain. And, you know, he worried about cold. You know, he look cool. He look cool, and so, you know, he don't want to admit it. He don't know it yet, but, you know, we know. Yeah, you look cool. It's all good. I love her too, bitch. But, so they get up. They got her. He asked her, you okay? And she said, fuck no. I like, bitch. Yes. Hell no, bitch. We ain't okay. And so, they get up. They get out. And they walk in the motherfucking pipelines on the knee. And they try to get out. But here come the doctor. That bitch from one end. And here come the guards. And you know what they gonna do and all that stuff. Dick is like, I got it. He said, let me. Child. Listen. What did I tell y'all about uh fucking Dick? Well, I tell y'all about uh Dick, the way he motherfucking fights, and you know like the different styles between him and motherfucking Jason. Remember, I said when Dick fights, it's like a well oiled machine. It's fluid, you know what I'm saying? But it's vicious. I said until he starts snapping, then it turns brutal. That motherfucker, when I tell you, he had a motherfucking wrench. When I tell you, he brutalized, it was about seven or eight motherfucking uh, security people. When I tell you, he was beast mode. That nigga was beast fucking mode. And you can tell how he was a beast mode, because every time he fight, he roar. 
he he scream and all that shit. It just like he exercising that shit out of his motherfucking system and exercising the shit that he was going through. You know the uh, hallucinations he was going through. You know with uh, you know Dylan fighting his younger self and basically I think he was motherfucking purging out the last of Robin. I just believe that. Cause he know he's not that. You know what I'm saying? He's not robbing anymore. And all that stuff. So he was just brutal, bitch. He was so brutal. Everything. And so the kids leave. And you know, the mama, you know, the uh Rachel mama, she look at that that nigga like, Good god damn. What the fuck wrong with him? Hey, I like child, ma'am. He he a good person that thing, but you know he going through some stuff, so you gonna have to excuse him. But you know they leave and Starfire. He tells Starfire wait, and he said burn it all. And she was like, she looked at him. She said, you for real? You sure about this? And he's looking down at this puddle of water, and that puddle of water got uh uh uh. It's his reflection. But here's the thing about that puddle of water, though. Okay, well, he's looking at down there, that puddle of water. And honestly, you see his face all janked up. And it looked like he, you know, he got tears in his eyes, whatever. And he's looking at that puddle of water. Was that Robin or was that Nightwing? Because I was looking at that. I was like, wait a minute, where the green at? Don't that shit supposed to show up or everything? Even though it kind of stopped, like, right here or whatever. But he drops the, uh, uh ranch up in the a puddle of water and yada yada and basically tell her yeah and so he leaves and Starfire lights it up like motherfucking 4th of July burns the whole joint up and so burns the whole joint up and uh you know she walks out fur coat her everything jumpsuit flawless you know, ain't no lick of flame. She ain't got a, a scorch mark on nothing, bitch. And so, Robin burns his suit. He burns his suit, y'all. He burns that Robin suit. And, like, you know, Star's like, so, you, what, you gonna watch for the uh, to the finale? Or are you ready to go? And he like, we out. And they motherfucking deuces and that was that episode that's the episode of motherfucker asylum y'all that was the episode of fucking asylum it was good i don't know it this episode felt like it was kind of short but it's still like you know let me mention this damn thing will 46 minutes 46 then in 50 minutes so it was a nice size but i don't know it just felt short uh, character developments. Do we have it? I say Beast Boy. Cause Beast Boy, you know, he he grew up right like 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 that. I hate the way he grew up that quick, but you know that. And I know he gonna be dealing with that for a minute, and I'm wondering why he's dealing with that. Will he turn it, uh, continue turning to the tiger, or will he turn into a new beast? Maybe he'll try n- another uh, another animal, and probably try to give the tiger a rest. We'll see. Uh, so that's it for asylum. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave some comments down below, and um, catch you later.